Hey everyone, this is Brandy from MetroGypsy.etsy.com, and this is my Indie 5 submission. Woo! <laughs> So to start off, I thought I would talk about the five W's, of which George W. Bush has absolutely no part. Okay, so the five W's are who, what, when, where, and why. I'm going to do them a little bit out of sequence. Uh, the first one will be right, which is who. Uh, who would be me, Metro Gypsy. I'm Brandy Sanders. Uh, I lived and worked professionally in New York City and L.A. I pursued acting, dancing, musical theater, off-Broadway, feature and indie film uh, for a very, very long time. Uh, I even had a role in a film featured at the Cannes Film Festival. Uh, and another distributed through Blockbuster, um, featured numerous times on IFC, Showtime channels, HBO, all that good stuff. Um, this made my parents very happy, uh, but I still get lumped in with, you know, she was an actress, but she's not Angelina Jolie, super uber famous types. So what can I do? I don't want to be a stereotype, right? <laughs> um, why is the gonna be the second one? Um, what the heck did I just say have to do with Metro Gypsy? Um, well, by working and performing on stage in New York uh, and using my bachelor's degree in theater arts, um, I helped to create um, a group called Absinthe Cabaret, which is a dark cirque performance venue in the vein of uh, Vaudeville, Lucent Dossier, except we're on the East Coast. Um, it's kind of a vaudeville, dark cirque, nouveau burlesque group. Um, if you have any interest in finding out more about them, it's myspace.com backslash Absinthe Cabaret. Um, Metro Gypsy actually began as a creative side project alongside Absent, Absent Cabaret. Um, I was working on the show's costumes design, uh, particularly for the Green Fairy, which I was playing. Um, after the headdress came out on stage, uh, a lot of the people in the audience um, started to comment. Um, a lot of people started to ask for me to make them their own headdresses, their own uh, feather fascinators. And that's really where Metro Gypsy was born. Um, for another W, what, uh, my focus is on original mini top hats, tilt hats, um, the custom feather fascinators, huge custom Sally Rand feather fans, and one-of-a-kind vintage and upcycled pieces created for stage performance, burlesque, and anyone else who really loves standing out, especially actors, performance-based uh, people, people who are naturally creative on their own. Uh, for another W, when, uh, <laughs> this is probably the, uh, the easiest one uh, to answer and the one I I'm least likely to, to stumble over my words with, and when would be all the time. Um, every day I'm in the studio, uh, my actual studio apartment, as seen here, uh, which is a shoebox, <laughs> basically. It is really small, uh, but I love it, uh, and I'm in there every day, as often as I can. Uh, trying to um, just make the most of the space that I have. Um, oh, there is my uh, ottoman. Um, I love my ottoman. <laughs> and um, this is actually a VHS player you're looking at there. Yeah, I don't own a DVD player yet. Um, oh, and I just realized I covered another one of the W's, which would be where, uh, which is the studio apartment, the tiny <laughs> studio apartment uh, you just saw. Now, I went over the five W's, so really quickly what I'll do is just show you literally my hands doing what they do. <laughs> um, as frenetic and strange as it might look on camera. Um, this is going to be a mini, uh, custom mini top hat order that I just received on Etsy. Um, usually what I'll do is select the hat base, the ribbon, I'll go through my grade A imported ostrich feathers, try to find the best color based off the interests of the person who made the order, and um, piece it together a little bit uh, by little bit. I kind of go from there. Usually after I get uh, the first response from the customer saying that they want, um, say for example, the, the hot pink and the black that's in this photo along with the peacock, I'll kind of pick it up and um, move it along. I'll usually try to sit down with the, uh, <laughs> the uh, massively <laughs> huge collection of stuff that I've accumulated in this very small apartment, um, specifically vintage brooches. Um, I have a lot of hand-tooled stuff, a lot of antique things, coins, centerpieces, old jewelry that's been dismantled, and um, I'll just kind of sit down and start working the thing together, um, you know, taking pictures, um, sending the, the pictures back and forth to the customer until finally they say, yep, that's what I want, 
and uh, that results with a hat like that is pictured here. Um, that is uh, Lord and Taylor um, antique brooch, two black gritty ostrich feathers, this really nice black silk ribbon um, that I actually picked up in New York, and um, some ribbed tie around ribbon around the throat as well. So that's usually what it ends up look ends up looking like. Sometimes not. And uh, sometimes you get a customer that wants something really specific and you have to kind of Vulcan mind mill with them <laughs> to figure out what it is. But um, usually it ends up being that or um, one of the things that you're seeing right now. Um, so basically that's it. That is the five W's, a uh, brief crazy looking clip <laughs> of my hands uh, putting this stuff together. And um, that's about it for me. That's Metro Gypsy. If you're interested in finding anything else uh, about Metro, Metro Gypsy, um, I'm on my first cup of coffee, so bear with me here. I promised Allie I'd get this in the day. Um, if you're interested in finding out anything else about Metro Gypsy, like you see here, um, I am on uh, Etsy, obviously, metrogypsy.etsy.com, myspace backslash uh, Metro Gypsy, and twitter.com backslash, uh, black, blah, 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 <laughs> backslash Metro Gypsy as well. So um, it's been an honor to even know that anyone cares about what I do and um, I really appreciate Buttonhead and Indy5 for letting me make this um, awesome lot, video. Thank Thanks you, a lot, thank God. you, thank you! Alright, <laughs> I'm done. I think that's it, it's over. <laughs> I need another cup of coffee. <laughs>